Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're not directly diagnosing a car, but we're going to demonstrate the Altus Drive that Snap-on offers. The website is altusdrive.com. Um, I'll try to put it up on the screen. And what it is is the Snap-on scanners that are updated to 18.4 and 19.2, and they're gonna continue to do this um, are equipped with the Altus Drive. I think some of the other ones may have had it a little bit early on, like the uh, Apollo and the Zeus. No, the Zeus got it last. Um, so maybe it was just the Apollo. Not sure, but what is the Altus Drive? The Altus Drive is a way of saving data from your scan tool to the cloud. It's kind of nice to have at times. Um, it's a little clunky, the website. I'm sure they're making improvements on it, but this Nissan behind me, I'm gonna hook my scanner up to it. I got the Zeus hooked up, but I think everything except for the Ethos will have the feature if you have version 18.4 or newer. So let's go in here, go to scanner. And of course it didn't automatically ID this one. Nissan, let's see if it'll pick it up now. So 2006 Nissan Armada 5.6. So how this works is you have to be working on a vehicle that you can do a full system, full system scan. If you scan just one module, it won't automatically update that information to the cloud. But if you do a full, I mean, you can hit the save button or the screenshot button and I believe it'll do it, but on the full code scan, um, I think they made this an automatic feature in 19.2, but we'll do a, a pre-scan here. While that's doing the scan, let's jump over to the laptop and I'll show you uh, the website and we'll let this do its thing because it might take a while. So on the website, if you haven't signed up before, this is very similar to the, the Mitchell Pro Demand or On Demand 5 website and layout. The login screen looks identical, but really easy. You can create a new account right up front here. Um, I'm kind of surprised that they don't have a button here that says uh, create business account. But since I'm already set up, we're going to go ahead and log in. And right here are previous vehicles that I have scanned. The one bad thing about this website is it doesn't have an automatic refresh. Um, if I scan in a new vehicle, it won't show up on the screen unless I press F5, um, refresh the whole page, and then it'll pull up. So we're about halfway done scanning that Nissan. Um, so you can do screenshots, you can do code reports. So here is a screenshot from the, uh, the coil test we did the other day, and that's actually what started this discussion. Um, started talking about it with Welding Junkie. And once you come back in here, you can add descriptions to pictures, known good, known bad, year, make, model. This information right here, this should all be uh, filled in automatically, which I guess it is right here, down here at the bottom. Um, I don't ever fill any of that stuff out at this point, but I don't use it a whole lot for uh, data management. You could have your service writer up front with this software. Um, I wish they had a shop account and you could link uh, multiple devices, but if your service writer had access to this, you scan a vehicle in the back, wouldn't that be a lot easier for your service writer to copy and paste the code list over to the invoice, have a full documentation of it, or even print it out for the, uh, for the customer or attach it to the, uh, the customer copy of the invoice? I think that would be quite handy. Okay, we are done on the, the Snap-on Zeus full system scan. Now, you know, we could go through and we can do, since I have the Zeus, we could do everything right here. Um, it has a web browser and all that stuff, but you guys that have the Zeus probably know that the, uh, the navigation is a little clunky when you're using a stylist. I've got giant hands. It's hard for me to type on this keyboard, um, the on-screen keyboard. Um, I really have to hook up a 
wireless mouse in order to uh, navigate efficiently. And even then, I'd have to hook up a keyboard as well to type stuff in the search box. So with the, with the Zeus, with the intelligent diagnostics, I could go right in, diagnose stuff. I can go straight to Mitchell from this screen, look at repair information. But what if I want to look at all data, identifix, order parts? I don't necessarily want to use my scanner for that. So that's where we jump back over here to the computer. Let me re refresh this page. And here is my Nissan. So now I can click in here and you have to double click. The first one just pulls you up to this page where you can enter information. You click in this area again and it'll pull up the, uh, the system report. And that is a lot of codes, but what I want to do here is double click the VIN, control C to copy it. We're going to jump over here to pro demand and I can just go to the VIN, control V, enter, press and enter, confuse the, the computer, confuse me, use this vehicle. Now I have full access to the service manual without having to enter the year, make, model. Let's jump to Identifix. Paste that in there. Pick our vehicle. We're ready to go. We have access to the Identifix um, repair database and factory service manuals. All data. Uh, click Repair. Same thing. Very quick way of loading your vehicle into all of your interfaces, including you know, your parts ordering. So now that I have just a few clicks, um, a few copy and paste, I have all the repair information I need at my fingertips. Um, it doesn't matter which one you're using, if you're using all three, um, if you're using CarQuest, O'Reilly, AutoZone, they all have a VIN feature. Now you can also enter the plate on a lot of those and it'll decode it and pull up the VIN, but is the plate the right plate for the vehicle? Um, we've seen rental cars, fleet vehicles, sometimes they get the wrong plate, pull it up, it's the wrong year make model. This way we pulled the VIN from the, from the PCM while we scanned it. That should be fairly correct unless somebody uh, swapped the PCM and did not rewrite the VIN. So at this point, you know, we don't even have to uh, necessarily remember all this stuff. Like we can just copy and paste codes if we want to. Like this uh, P1564 AS CD switch voltage signal out of range. I don't know what the AS CD switch volt our switch is. Um, I've never run into that before on a Nissan. So I can punch it into here real quick. Um, the Identifix is the fastest for me for code definitions because it just has it right down here. ASCD steering wheel switch. That's here's a code definition here. And I can go through, find out all the information of what it takes to set that code, what it takes to clear the code, and continue to some of the tests that I should uh, perform. So it's very handy. I don't know, that's just kind of my workflow is it, it's easier for me if I have the VIN there. I don't have to uh, manually enter that in all of the uh, the different databases. So thermal imager, let me just uh, snapshot my scanner there. Now as soon as I take that snapshot, it'll start automatically uploading it. Um, if you take a bunch, it takes a little bit. But if we go over here to our data list, um, there's actually two images that have not uploaded. So let me zoom you in here, maybe if it'll focus. You can see the little cloud icon they don't all have a check mark next to them. I have two images that are not. So it looks like that next one is uploading. So it'll take a second here and we'll have access to those on the computer. So here we are, refresh the page. And now I have this picture. When you upload from the uh, Digital Imager Elite, it saves three pictures. 
whatever blend mode you're currently on, which I normally run 60 to 80%, it'll save the uh, regular camera picture and then it'll save the full thermal imager picture. So you have all three at your fingertips, easy to access, you can print them off. Um, I wish that they would, uh, I don't have the, the Mitchell uh, shop manager or shop key if you're running the snap-on system. Um, so I don't know if that fully integrates with that. I wish that they would make some changes to where you can just take your, your code list from your scan tool, at least the popular scan tools, and have it save it right in the database. Whatever information you had during the diagnostic process, I wish it would save with the repair order. So if that vehicle comes back a year from now, having similar issues, you can pull up that information and have access to it. And it's saved with the customer in the database instead of having to go and search for it. Now, if you save the stuff to the Altus drive, um, you could go and search for it that way, but you would have to go in and enter keywords and stuff for every vehicle. Like, I don't think this had the VIN number in the, oh, it does, it does. So if I search by VIN, you know, I could pull this uh, Nissan up even, you know, a year from now and find the code list. So I know this video is longer than uh, maybe it needed to be, but I just wanna show you guys some of the stuff that the Altus Drive can do to streamline your process. I prefer to navigate on the laptop where I have a mouse and a keyboard um, instead of on the screen of the computer. If you have a tech savvy service writer or a service writer that wants to be able to document stuff easier, then give them access to this. Um, that's why I wish they had a shop account feature to where the shop could link to the individual accounts of the technicians because I have my own scan tools. The shop have their own scan tools. Um, I actually have all of them linked to my account because I'm the one that normally accesses it. So if you have a shop foreman like me, then give them full access. Whenever your technicians are through the shop um, scanning vehicles, they have a question. Sometimes it's really easy to work from your workstation, just pull up that vehicle information and look up the information before you go over to the help them. Um, makes it a little easier sometimes because it seems like every time you have to go help somebody, they don't always have the information pulled up on a computer right in front of you and you're walking back and forth either to their workstation or to yours. So I hope you found something in this video helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe and click the bell. Questions, comments, put those down below. If I missed something in here that you guys wanted to see, if you wanna focus in on a certain detail, let me know and I will uh, do a recap of this or a, a different video of just that feature. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.